In the 1880s, before microphones, people tried to record their voices using a terrifying method. They screamed into a wax cylinder while pressing their ears against it. Yes, you heard that right. Thomas Edison's phonograph captured sound through a needle vibrating against wax, but early users discovered that to hear their own recording clearly, they had to physically brace their ears against the machine during playback. Why? Because the sound was faint, mechanical, and barely audible. So they screamed into the device to get enough vibration, and then pressed their ears to the cylinder to feel the vibrations, almost like listening with their bones. It was part science, part circus act. One 1889 newspaper described a woman screaming like a banshee while clutching the cylinder, tears in her eyes as her own voice crackled back at her. This bizarre ritual became a strange social phenomenon. Families gathered to hear their own distorted, ghostly echoes. It wasn't just recording sound, it was confronting it. Today, we take crystal clear audio for granted. But back then, hearing your voice was a surreal, almost supernatural experience. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing science content.